All right. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hope all is well. Hope everybody's doing all right. So, hope you had a great weekend, right? Right. I want to see you one, well, one day out of the week. <laughs> so, hope everybody's doing great. Had a great week. Um, so, I know a few people hit me up with some questions. They asked could I walk them through some things. So, we'll do that first today. Um, so whoever want to go ahead and start with that, I have one, about two or three people who said something like that. So anybody want to start? I don't want to call my names if you don't want to start. So <laughs> I have to find mine first. I'm going to find it right now. Okay, cool, cool. Not a problem. Is that somebody? Now, now Ms. Ms. Pinson, were you talking? Didn't know you were on mute. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> um, do I have to find a problem? Um, well, do you know what it was on? Like what 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 type of problem it was? You don't have to be more specific. I can go in, in my math lab, but like you I, I know it was on 4.3, and I think I sent you one on four point. I gotta I have to log on to my math lab and find okay. it. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to get a pencil here. Okay, I see. When you sent me one specifically in the email, I see it. You see so it? I see 4.4, .4, number nine. Math is not my favorite subject. I apologize. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> so let me share it with class. So this is what we're looking at right you now. You have to show my answers. <laughs> Oh, I won't even think of like that, man. My bad. That's okay. <laughs> Actually, I just plugged in anything just because oh, I had to, okay. I had tried to do the problem like six times already. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I had a problem with that. I had a problem yeah, with me that. too. Thank you for asking that question. In three okay, hours. No problem. We about to ask answer everybody question in one in one, <laughs> in one question. Okay. All right. So let's see if we can go ahead and do this. Um, so we have these data values over here to the right corner. For those who haven't attempted this problem yet, we have these data values over here to the right corner. And they're asking us to get the scatter plot. And so basically that's just plotting the points. And so she chose A, which is the correct one. Um, basically the way that this is set up with those points and the plots, uh, it's only one that's even close, remotely close to that set of points. So in other words, uh, make sure you pay attention to the scale. You know, you can uh, magnify it. This first column are your X values or your horizontal, which is weight in pounds. And then the second column is your vertical. And um, let's see, we have 12.4 and we have that 10 point, let's look at it 10.2. And that's the one that's closest right here. And basically you would just grab the points and see the one that's closest to it. So if you have any questions about graphing, you know, let me know, but that's just regular graphing on the X, XY plane. Um, so that's that one. Let's see so much this. Can I ask a question? Okay. So what I was figuring out when I just was plugging in this one, just so I could send a problem to you, mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with looking at the graph because I kind of figured out it almost looked like you're going from bottom to top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I figured that out. And mm -hmm. it's just trying to figure out the other parts, portions of the problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would just start from scratch just for anybody who hadn't seen this problem before. Um, so let me ask you this. Now, I see the correlation coefficient. I'm going to do it anyway. But did you have a problem with that? Because you got that one right. After that, that's why I struggle with Okay. Okay. The rest cool. of the problem. Me too. Uh, <laughs> sounds good. Now, well, it, don't, it don't sound good, but I'm just saying I got you. <laughs> so let me take a picture of these points. Good evening, Professor. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Thank you for your message. Oh, yeah. No problem. No problem. All right, yeah. Just want to make sure everybody was all right. Everybody didn't think I was mad at them and stuff. So I just want to make sure I can help everybody, you know, to the best of my ability, you know. Right, and you only one person, so I mean, <laughs> like, come on now. <laughs> you, you are you are very approachable. So if anybody yeah. needs help, they can approach you. It could have been yeah. handled uh, like an adult man. Oh, exactly. Bro. Exactly. Oh, That's escalated well, too. Like, Cause, cause I'm like, man, um, if he lets me go early, I'm, I'm liking that. Like I work full time and I'm taking five classes this semester. Me like, too. Let right. me go. Okay, Kiara. <laughs> well, you know, 
I don't know all, you know, my whole thing was, I don't know everything that was, that was said or was that happened, you know? So I wouldn't even say that, you know, it wasn't handled in adult matter, manner or anything either. I would just say, I don't know because no one said anything to me until the Dean said something to me. So all I was saying is that, you know, you know, next time just talk to me and hopefully I can I help felt, you out. <laughs> felt like you went to the principal's office. Yeah. <laughs> it was not handled in an adult manner. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. If it was Kiara, I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. No, you're fine. It's Kiara, but you're fine. Okay, Kiara, you asked me to message you, sweetie, to help me. I can't. There's no way for me to message you in um, Canvas. Yeah, I was wondering. Um, well, I'll just try to reach out to you. Um, maybe by email or something. See how we can get together or we exchange numbers or something. Yes, ma'am, please. Because I'm still on Chapter 1 homework, girl. I'm struggling. So there's okay. a way to have a study group on PCT's website. It's called Navigate, I do believe, I think. Um, and you can create a study group for certain classes. Like I thought I had I thought I had did that like before like classes started. Like I had sent like an email out and like somebody did say they wanted to study with me, but girl, listen, I, as much stuff I got going on, I'm just like like I try to even sign up for like the they have like a free tutor too. Cause like professors hours, I can't accommodate those. Those, those hours are, you know, are limited. So I can't. I... Well, if there are other times that may fit your schedule better, just shoot me that email. We can see if we can match up schedule. Yeah. 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 No, I was, so, I was planning on it, but I'm not mm -hmm. trying to have you help me out on those Saturdays. So. I mean, I've done it before. I mean, it's all okay, good. Okay. All right. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So, you know, you know, so just let me know, you know, yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Not a problem. Not a problem. So this first one, R, um, and like I said, I'm just going from, from you know, start from scratch. I know uh, a couple of you say you already had that problem. Um, what I would do to find that is Google correlation coefficient, cal easy calculator, because that's what you're trying to find when you're trying to find R, the correlation coefficient. So correlation coefficient with easycalculation.com is a pretty safe website that I've been using. And um, plug in those values and we should get that number. So let's do 12.4. 17.09. Make sure you plug it in right. I just want to make sure this thing is what they want. Now, what we're doing for this correlation coefficient is going to be very similar, uh, be a very similar process for what we're going to do for that regression line. So here, this should be it. I'm looking at 0 0.9407. Let's see what math lab wanted. Down to the third. Yep, so around to the three decimal places. So it's 0.941. So, that's all I'm asking you to do as far as that is concerned. Find you something that you're comfortable with using. Like I said, easycalculation.com can do it. All we did was type in those data values and hit enter. All right. I have a so, question actually yes. as well. Mm -hmm. Are we allowed to use that calculator when we're doing our test and everything? Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to create a lockdown browser or anything. So even when we do our final exam, uh, make sure that you have whatever you need available to you and lined up so you're not wasting time going to find stuff. You know, already have the windows lined up so you can just go ahead and use them accordingly. Can I just say thank you for not the lockdown browser right now? I'm <laughs> struggling with chemistry and I just want to like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, she's <laughs> making a show on ID and everything. Wow, wow. Yeah, um, I know, I know it's uh, it's enough people out there that's being real strict in which I don't have to be one of them. That's how I feel. So, I, you know, I, I just try to give people a break a little bit, um, you know, so. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Write the notes on your hands for your final exam. <laughs> <laughs> she took it old school, did she? <laughs> Man, that's that's where I'm from. That's how long it's been for me. Uh, so, so that one, the interpretation is a positive correlation suggests that large turkeys tend to have a higher price. So in other words, if it's positive as one go up, the other one goes up. So the larger turkey goes up, the price goes up. 
So she was good on that, but just making sure everybody else is. So now here we have the predicted price and the weight. So we need to find a regression line. So once again, uh, oh, hit the wrong button. All right, so what I would do is go to, why is my, oh, this one, thing in my way. All right, hold on one second, guys. Windows in my way. All right, come on now. All right, so I would go back to Google, just doing it from scratch, and so you'll know what I would do. Why is he pulling up Gmail? All right, so we're looking for the regression line. Regression line, easy calculation. What? Hmm? Regression. What? Yeah, I didn't know we had a calculator for that one. Yeah, Come over here working man. hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> listen, listen, Kira. Kira, soak it all up because when you and I get together, girl, I'm going to need everything that you soaked up. <laughs> yes. So here it goes again, the first one. So like I said, whatever you're trying to find, whether it's the, um, I mean, really mean mode or median, if you want to do it that way, uh, standard deviation, variance, regression line, correlation coefficient, put what you're trying to find. Then after that easy calculation or, or easy calculator, the first one should be easycalculation.com. And you should be able to put in data values and hit enter and go from there. I see 10 things from the chat. Oh, y'all just talking to each other. All right, cool. All right, so um, once again, I'm gonna just do it from scratch and just put in those data values again. And we should get the answer. Let's make sure though. So like I said, my math lab can that funky sometimes. Professor, you cooking tonight? Not tonight. I bought pizza. I'm trying to go to bed. Well, I thought. You, you took the easy way out. I did. I'm not even going to lie to you. I did this time. <laughs> Listen, pizza is a great option. I done heard people like four times today about four different people. I might get on that bandwagon. Yeah, you got to listen to the signs, man. Listen to the signs. <laughs> listen to the signs. <laughs> All right. So 58.9, 23 points, 1.6. So we have one more. 10.2 and 9.13. So hit calculate and we have the slope 1.1, 1 1.51, 1 negative 3.9. And so that's the calculate, that's it right there. You just put both of those values in, in the equation form. And so let's make sure, let's go back to math lab. And so those were the values. And see what was in front of X is what's in front of weight. So they put it the same way. I'm over here working hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> so before we go any further, for those who had a question on that. You're the only one. <laughs> right? That's why I have like two hours on this one point. Me too. In three. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just glad y'all saying something before I started working this. So now I don't have to work as hard. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> I was just getting ready to say that. I was like, thanks everybody for all your hard work, all the hours you put in. That's why I haven't taken the test yet because I was struggling with four, chapter four. Right, right, right. It's all good. <laughs> We're near chapter four. <laughs> <laughs> like and so this one right here says re report the slope of the regression line, all you're doing is taking this value right here. It says 1.52. So, and, and then once again, pay attention to the directions. Here it, you round to three decimal. Here you round to the nearest cent. So that's two decimal. So if you wrote the same exact answer, 1.517, uh, they would mark it wrong because they asked you to round to two decimals. So just make sure you watch those decimal places. Uh, let's I have see. a question um, up on. Um, section report D, where mm -hmm. it's to put the line into the chart. I I got that wrong like so many times. I just I'm not understanding how you know which one. All right, so let me see. First, look now. First thing, if you look at the points, yeah. B matches A. A. Neither one of the other ones even come close. So that oh well, I guess I could have did it like that. But uh, yeah, so that would be the telltale sign right there. Make sure this matches what you said was the answer up here. 
Because like I said, if you look at the, the, the points on these other two, they don't even come close to that. And so, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yep, not a problem. So let's see, report the intercept regression. Interpretation of intercept is inappropriate. Okay, so now when you talk about your intercept, we talk about when X is zero, what is Y? So okay. it does, does that interpretation make sense? So we're talking about if X is zero, that's our weight. So we're talking about zero pounds. Um, go here, it would get you negative 3.93 as price. So that doesn't make sense. So that's why she clicked uh, the interpretation of the intercept is inappropriate. So whenever they ask you about the interpretation of the intercept, they're talking about when X is zero, does your interpretation make sense? So in other words, when the pounds are zero, it costs negative $3.93. Of course, that doesn't make sense. So that's what, that's what that is. So basically what I'm hearing is I get money back if my turkey weighs zero pounds. Well, if, you, if it weighs <laughs> zero pounds, yeah, that's the way. Yeah, that's the way it's interpreted. Yeah. Come on, Jen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that every time it's zero? And it's no, it depends on what the application is. It just so happened in this application, it was pounds and price. Okay. So when you say zero pounds, it's a negative, and you know zero, you talking about plugging it into in here for the weight right here. I got you. Okay. So when, and then the the result will be negative three point nine three, and so that's this application. It wouldn't make sense. But um, there are some that probably would. I'm pretty sure they're going to give you one and mix it up. You know what I mean? Some of you may get one that don't make sense, and then somebody may get one that do make sense, you know. Okay. All right. So here for F, add a new point to your data, 30-pound turkey that is free. So you would add to this information 30 pounds right here and then $0. And then still do your same, the same two uh, websites. Why zero dollars? Uh, it says free. It is free. A thirty, a 30 oh. pound turkey that oh. is free. I didn't see it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. Oh, free. Yep. So you would add to. You wouldn't take anything away from this. You would just add after ten point two, put thirty right here for pounds, and then zero right here for price, and then run those same two websites. And uh, that would be that will have that would be how you get your answers, and then do your same interpretations. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, positive correlation. It would be the same thing here. Hold on. Would it be negative? Oh, no. This one ends up being negative. And so negative correlation suggests that the turkeys tend to have a lower price. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So my sense in the chat to me. Oh, okay, not to me. All right. So questions on that problem. Is everybody cool with what you wish, what you should do? Like I said, I'm not asking you to go in and learn. Is this, prob is this 11 step problem going to be on the test? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't this remember. This has 11 steps to it? Yeah. 11. But, but remember, you just throw part, part of the steps is you just oh throwing it in a website. Gosh. You know, in my defense, part of the stuff is just throw it in a website. <laughs> in your defense, this is like, to you, this is like shoveling snow. It's easy. Like, you could just go outside and shovel. You could just do this. Like, oh, seven, seven steps to one problem? Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> wow, oh, my gosh. Now, now, hold on, hold on. You're from up north, right? He has longer questions. Who, me? No, Miss Miss Moran. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Why? I heard the accent, and then you said shoveling, shoveling snow is easy. So that means you must do it. You have done it regularly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so this is regular for you. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, so you're shoveling with a shovel, like with a snow shovel. She's shoveling with a spoon. That's what she's talking about. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Thank you, Jen, for clarification. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but so before Ms. we go to Ms. Emma question, said it took her huh? two hours. I struggled. But she she didn't know about the website though. She was doing it by hand, you know. Well, you know she should I mean? get an A for effort. <laughs> well, you know, you know, effort effort start with an E, like. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that being said, though, uh, are we good with this? One? Is everybody good? Like I said, use the website, or use a website or a calculator. I mean, uh, app or calculator. Um, not asking you to do it by hand. Um, and we should be good on this one. Should be good. 
All right. Um, next problem. Anybody? Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Um, Miss Larissa put one in the chat. Let me see where it goes. All right, 1.3, 4 and 5. How many classes are you teaching? Mm, TCC, let me see. I think I got six at TCC by itself. Oh, no, no. I just meant like in total, like all around. Uh, about nine, because I got a couple at Norfolk State as well. How do you keep them all straight? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been doing it for 17 years now, so it's just... he's been shoveling snow. That's why he's just been shoveling snow all these years. <laughs> <That's> like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're right about that. That's how I, that's how I process. Just do it, right? So let's see. Let's see. Let me open up Math Lab. Where's that? So this is 155, and we're going to. 1.3 and Miss Larissa said no one judge her because <laughs> we're going to 1.3. So I just want to go ahead and yeah, come to 1.3. Come uh, come to my neck of the woods. There's no worries, Larissa. I'm with you. <laughs> I haven't been doing bad. Like I skipped around because I was like, you know what? If I'm stuck on it, I'm just gonna skip to the other parts. Mm -hmm. And right. I'm trying to go back to this one. And I like the end of the question, of course, too. Like I get everything in the beginning, but it's the very end one I cannot get. So then I can't pass that little section. Me not. <laughs> <laughs> so we got 1.3. I wish I could pull my thing up so I could do it with you. Oh, wait, wait, you can't? No, I don't think I, I I'm not really. Okay, so Larissa, I had to have my husband help me with this one actually. And it took me forever. So no, so I got it this one. Better. I did this one. I got it right all the mm -hmm. way down till the very, this one has like 12 steps too. Mm. All so right. Literally like the last one, I got everything. Like I figured out, you know, the, the whole subtracting math, multiplication all that and i'm not good at math whatsoever figuring mm -hmm. it all out i was super proud of myself and then i got to the last question and i was like <laughs> and i've been stuck on it for so long <laughs> <laughs> all right so let yeah, me, go me ahead too. And get to it this is so, where i'm at man so if anybody have any questions about anything that i'm doing please let me know so right now we just add we just filling in a chart so i add those together got 70 subtract 27 from 120 and got 93, so that should be right. All right, what percentage of men, <clears throat> excuse me, what percentage of men had an older sibling? All right, so yes to older, so it's 14 out of the 27. And round it to one decimal place, so that's 51.9. All right. Oh, yeah. So what I it said, what percentage of men had an older sibling? So these are the people that have older siblings. These are the men that have older siblings. Um, well, no, let me say it like this. These are the men, period. And then the ones that had an older sibling is 14 of them. And it's the total of men that were asked is 27. So I did 40, 14 divided by 27. That gave me 51.9%. Then it says, what percentage of men did not have an older sibling? So I could just subtract that from 100 or take the 13 and divide it by 27. So 48.1 should make that happen. All right. What percentage of women had an older sibling? All right. So that's 56 over 93. Sixty point two. I'll be honest, y'all, Miss Larissa got me scared because I don't know what this problem is going to end up being. Can't come up short. So what percentage? Oh, OK, I went the wrong way. So what percentage of people had an older sibling? So that's going to be 70. Now we're talking about in total. So 70 over 120. So that would be 58.3. All right. What percentage of people with an older sibling were women? So we got. 
So we got the women right here with older siblings. So what percentage of older, uh, not older women, what percentage of people with older siblings had women? So we got the 70 right here, that'd be 56 out of 70. 56 out of 70. That should be 80. 80. Yep. All right. And then suppose that in a group of 100 women, the percentage uh, who have older siblings is the same sample here. How many 800 women would have an older sibling? So we would take that. 800. Let me make sure I'm right, using the right percentage. Though. What percentage of people with an older sibling women? What percentage? The percentage of older siblings the same. Let's do 640. Can I ask a question? Now, with that 800, would you, with that 800, would you be, would any, you wouldn't do 100% on any of that, right? Well, no, we're going to take one of these percentages. You got to make sure you use the right percentage. <laughs> so you got, uh, you got 800 women and out of, out of the 800 women, how many of them have an older sibling? So going back, we we have look at our women. That's the problem that I had with. So it's so we, not the one right above. It's like the 60.2. I thought it was the one that I thought you have to total them all up and then do it out of the 800. Oh, no, no. no. We got to. We got to. That's what I thought, too. Yeah, we got to use the percentages that we have. So if we have uh, 93 women all together. 56 out of the 93 have uh, an older sibling. And I think that, like she said, that's that. Hold on, let me make sure. It's the 60.2. It's not the 80%. Right. Um, Why am I getting a different value? Hold on a second. Yeah, okay. I, I fat fingered something. Yeah. So that's uh right. You're absolutely correct. That's 60.2. So don't forget to convert it to a decimal though. So you're going to use it as 0 0.602 times the 800. And that should be, and we say round to the nearest whole number because there's no such thing as 0.7 of a woman. So make sure you're careful with that. So it's going to be 482 with the fingers crossed. And yep, there we go. So the reason why it wasn't the 80% is because that's the total out of everybody. Right. It, mm -hmm. They're wanting the percentage from women only. So right. it was taking the percentage from D instead of F. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to take over. I was just trying no, to you have, it, you absolutely correct. put it in terms for Larissa. No, I, they no. confused the hell out of me too. Yeah. No, I, I would have had a problem if you were saying a whole bunch of wrong stuff. You were, you were fine. <laughs> but yeah, so what yeah. I was doing wrong, mm -hmm. to be honest, I don't know what I was doing wrong. I did not know I was supposed to use a percentage from one of the answers. Mm. So I have no idea what I was doing, but I... I really appreciate that. Yeah, not a problem. Yeah, me neither. I didn't know that's that's the one that I got stuck on because like all the rest of them, like I I was able to do, but then when it got down to there, mm -hmm. it was just thank you. Yeah, not a problem. Not a problem. All right, let's see. Let's now, see. if you want to continue in chapter one, it's it's okay because I'll be writing it all down. Like. <laughs> 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 so hold on, quick thing, quick thing. You said you turned um the sixty point two into decimal, multiplied it by what? By the eight hundred that they gave right here. Okay, mm -hmm. and that's how we got four eighty two. Yep. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Now that's going to be a decimal, so you round it up to the nearest whole number. So they tell you that right there. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So you multiplied the eight hundred by sixty point two and got four eighty two. Well, you got what was the result? It was like four eighty one point seven something. And then right, you had to okay. round it up to 482. Mm -hmm. All right. Did anybody else have any other questions? Uh, Ms. Pinson, was that the only one you had? Is she, are you, are you talking? Oh. <laughs> me, sorry. <laughs> I thought I sent two, but I don't know. I don't. I can't remember what the second one was. Okay, let me go comb the emails and see um, if I see something else. So I see that one. I only see that one right now. Oh, I think I found the other one. 
4.3, number 11. You also have one in the chat for 4.9, questions yeah. 9 and 11, I thought I read. Yep, I just saw it. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so let's see what we got going on here. The figure shows scatter plot, regression line. So they give you the regression line this time. All right, explain what the trend shows. So don't you do not smoke. Smoke free. Uh, this one should be smoking. Nope. I'll lower the percentage of high school students who smoke change to be the lower the percentage because it's going down, it's negative. The lower the percentage of smoke. I guess I should have read it. I was trying to push the line of prediction percentage of smoke free homes. Smoke free homes. 49 is going down. Smoke free homes. Higher percentage I should be lower. Grants to see, it says the higher the percentage. Oh, uh, yeah, I was reading the chart wrong. The higher the percentage of smoke free homes in the region, the lower. What problem are you on? Oh, you guys can't see it. Uh -uh. Oh, we're okay. still on. We're still on. You're still on 1.3. Yeah, 1.3. Oh, uh, okay. Mom, Professor, I got my notepad ready. I'm trying to write this stuff down. <laughs> my bad. I thought, I thought I was on the. Um, Okay. All right. So uh, you guys see the 4.343 now? Anybody can see that? Okay. Um, yeah, because that was 4.3. Okay. Yep. So trying to interpret what's going on here. Notice our regression line is going down. So let's see. The higher the percentage, so the percentage is down. Let's see, percentage smokers, percent smoke free, higher percentage of smoke free homes. So we have smoke free homes down here. And so that's going up. Notice it's going from 40 to 90. Um, but it's going down as you go up. So the higher the percentage of smoke free homes in the region, the lower the percentage of high school students who smoke tend to be. So I believe that's it right there. Yeah. Because it's going down now. If the if the uh, trend was going up, the higher the percentage of smoke-free homes, the higher the percentage of high school students with smoke. All right. So continue. Use a regression equation to predict the percentage of students who smoke. Use assume they are seventy percent. Use seventy, not point seven. So you would take seventy and plug it into this equation right here. Yeah, that's what I tried to do. <laughs> so four three. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> Minus five seven point seven seven seven. So that's going to be round to the nearest integer twenty-four. Yep. Now did you round to the nearest integer? No. Yeah, you put that decimal in there, it's going to get you. Yeah. And, and I think oh. that's what I kept doing. I kept putting a decimal in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, because that's it for that problem. Yep, yep. If, that, if you put a decimal in there, that was it. Yeah. So is everybody okay with that before we go to another one? Uh, all they asked for you to interpret this graph the, on the regression line mm -hmm. according to the graph and then plug in this number right here. And then they even tell you don't use a decimal. You leave it as is because all of these are in regular form as well, not not in decimal form. So, and then make sure you round to the nearest nearest energy. Got it. All right. Thank you. Not a problem. Not a problem. So now we're looking at four point nine. We got section four point nine. I don't think so. Yeah, uh, section is that four point. Because we go from 4.1 to 4.4. Is that what I'm about to say? Is that 4.4? Yeah, okay. Stops there, right? Yep, yep. 4.4. And we're looking at 9 and 11. All 
Oh, okay. Yeah, this this is one. Um, you already did nine, didn't you? Yeah, this is the show one first. That, yeah, we can still double back. Um, Being on your screen, it shows that there's a pop up. Oh, never mind. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the one um, that uh, Miss Pinson had brought up. Let's see if eleven is very similar to it. Interpret the slope. Did it give you any? Points? That's question ten. That's ten. Oh, thank you. Sorry about that, caught a sneeze. All right, so, all right, so 11 is a little different. So let's go back to nine, make sure we're clear on this. So with nine, you're talking about uh, looking at scatter point and you want to graph these points to the best of your ability. So now 10.3 is that first point. Notice neither one of these are close. You know what I mean? So when you look at it, it's only gonna be one that's gonna actually work. See? So yeah, and that should be C, because if you look at this 10.3 and 9.8, that's the only one that even comes close to that. And so it was this only is one the one point. that you use all the websites with, right? What are you talking about? This problem right here? Yeah. Uh-huh. So this one, um, what you do is you take these data values. Now R is your correlation coefficient. So what you do is you go to Google. So we just go to Google and do correlation, coefficient, easy calculation. And that first one right there, and then you just type in those values and it'll give you the answer. All right. So once again, let me see. Yep. Correlation, coefficient, easy calculator or easy calculation. That first one will work for you to find the find R. Then to find your regression line, that, that equation that they uh, that they want from you next. Um, I don't know if I can spell regression. Regression line is uh, good enough. Regression line, easy calculator. And then right here, same website, just different application. And you can type in those data values and get that equation. And you'll get those values. Uh, this one now. So uh, when you do that, you'll get this value right here for R, correlation coefficient. Then you'll get these two values right here for your um, equation. All right. So as far as nine goes, uh, that's all you have to do as far as what they're asking of you. Um, then right here, the graph, um, like when your classmates are asked about this one, make sure this one matches up with the one that you chose here to be correct. So they're gonna be the same points, it's just that you're gonna have a line going through it. So notice that these other two don't even come close to this one right here. All right. I'm just now noticing that there is two in that section that has 11 parts to it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but once again, you don't have to really calculate anything. All you have to do is type in the values, hit enter, and then type your answer in. So it's not quite like 11 parts, you know? Like, it's not, not quite. But, but here's, here's the other thing. I was calculating the amount of problems I had left to do to catch up with y'all. And I was like, all right, I got 50. I can do that. No, there's like five parts here and 11 parts there. And I'm like, that's more than just 50. So, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now see look i'm at a conundrum i have a i have a a, a conundrum i have a, a i'm perplexed i have this this situation at hand y'all y'all don't understand what i'm dealing with right now because this would be a wonderful moment to just you know be like all right well i don't i'm y'all y'all need time to catch up but people be telling on me, y'all. I can't just be like. Listen, 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 <laughs> listen. Do we need to get a petition going? Because I'm on chapter one and I'm trying to catch up. Oh, so man. like, it, I don't even understand why people are, are are doing stuff like that. Like, and 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 and, 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 in, and in that person's defense, I don't even know if it's this class. Like I said, I didn't even do any research on who it was. You know, because I really don't care. I just want to make sure everybody's straight. You know what I mean? So, what right, class it was. Adults. We're adults, mm -hmm. we're all adults. And if you have a problem, just ask, hey, listen, I'm struggling here. Like, look, 
um Kiara's gonna help me Kiara's gonna help right. me sorry I keep mispronouncing her name like <laughs> I've reached out to free tutoring you anybody else that feels sorry for me that wants to help can help you know what I mean like <laughs> closed mouth doesn't get fed just speak up right right and but and then I can like I said before I don't even know if if asking for help was the issue or if someone was feeling slighted that I, I may have been cutting the class you know cutting the class short you know what I mean so I don't know you know, because some people come from the angle, I'm paying for this class, so they should get this and get that. And so, but my whole thing is I'm not cutting anybody short. If this was a regular class where I meet with you twice a week, it still would be the same thing going on. It's just that it wouldn't be, we wouldn't be talking all the way to nine. It would just be an hour and 15 minutes, hour and 15 minutes. And it may not seem as bad, but when you cut it in half and then add those two pieces together, now you got, you know, more time that's not being accounted for. So, you know, I get it. I'm just saying, like, I would love to have had that conversation so we could have had some understanding. You prior know. to the dean. Right, 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 right. Prior to the dean. You know what I mean? That dean I mean, piece is really I important. Mean, you know I mean, mean, honestly, the way you explained it, it, it made total mm -hmm. sense because, like you said, everybody, like, look at me. I'm in chapter one. Like, I'm understanding up to there. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm going to get help to be able to catch up. So, I mean, if there's any 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 way that you're not understanding something then just reach out you know what I mean and and have that conversation don't don't supersede the situation to you know all the way up there like I just right. don't get that because if we were in person and you were like okay class dismissed everybody would grab their belongings and and you know hit the <laughs> hallways and go do what they have to do it right. wouldn't be an right. issue right if you're in the conundrum also you could just you know do a vote right right well look, before we even go there we still have a question <laughs> on the floor let's make sure <laughs> sorry no i didn't mean to cut anybody short i was just saying if, if you no, that man, you, you got it girl you, you got it. <laughs> all right so uh question nine are we good on question nine like i said use the, the website i'm not asking you to you know go through in and out in and outs of that formula but uh, all you have to do is use the website and then type in, hold on, let me go back here. Type in these data values into that chart. I mean, um, yeah, the chart that they give and then hit enter and it'll give you the answers. So um, let's see, go back here. And Mr. Loach, let me know if that, does, if that doesn't work for you. And uh, Walk you through it again. So here, let's see, this is number 11, grades on political science test number study, blah, blah, blah. So the correlation, so we're looking at this, well, we know the correlation is not positive, so that eliminates A and B, because if it was positive, it would be going up, it's negative, so it's going down. So the correlation is negative because the graph shows the increasing trend. So it has to be D, the correlation is negative because the graph shows a decreasing trend all right now b for additional hour work the score tend to go down by 86.55 percent all right where okay so the aggression line is up here okay cool so it's going to go up by whatever's sitting in front of whatever's your slope now your slope is always attached to this number so you see i mean not this number this word so you see we have point four eight one seven work so that's your x you know work is representative of x whenever they have it written like that so that point four eight one seven is your slope and that's going to be what it goes up and goes down by so it says for our, uh, our work the score tended to go down by point four eight one seven point that should be it right there yep excellent so and we oh. said down because it was negative and the trend is going down. All right, somebody was saying something? Yeah, what did, what did you say we got the value from to figure out um, that 0.4817? Uh, this, this right, you see the graph is right up top, right above it. I, I don't think my pointer is showing you guys, but if you see the graph is right above the graph, let me see if I can Okay. That. There we go, yeah. All right, so we good on that? All right, so, oh, is that it? Okay, see. All right, so 
the average score was approximately 87, approximately 87% of students do not do work. A student who did not work with respect. Yeah, so now uh, this one, this is one of those interpretations uh, wherein it would make sense a student who did not work expect to get an 87 on average. Uh, I guess you could, according to that, but zero was the work. So if you do not work, they said, you know, that will cancel out and all you'd be left with is 86.55. So that's why it says a, a student who did not work, zero's work, would expect to get around an 87 on average. All right. And they got the 87 for the 86.55 right here. That's why it says about or approximately. All right. Questions on that. Questions, questions, questions. It's not a question about that. Um, mm -hmm. Do you know what sections we're working on tonight? Yeah, let me see. Well, I know we have done up to chapter four. I was just asking because I may have to step away for a second. My daughters are in soccer, so. Right, 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 right. The soccer star. For sure. Um, oh, they're both in now. So it's, it, and they're doing cheerleading now. So I'm just. Oh, wow. I'm okay. all over the place. <laughs> Let me stay. Mm -mm, excuse me. It sounds like you're going to stay busy for a, a little while. It's the story of my yeah. life. We love the 0.44, right? Yeah, we closed out 4-4. Four, four. So at most today, we'll be getting into chapter five. I was just trying to check out something real quick. Are you going to be reposting this in case I have to log off? Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. All right. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. So let me see how long these chapters are in the wrong class. Here we go. Randomness, Randomness meeting file one. No. <laughs> <laughs> five, two. All right, five, two. This is what we may do. Um, let's just do one section because all it is is just setting us up. And then next class, we'll look to do five, two, five, three, and five, four. So you're just doing 5.1 today? I think that's what I'll do. And then, like I said, do five, three, five, four, next class. Five, five, two, five, three, five, four, next class. Five, one is known. Five, one is known. Uh, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's known. It says the one that likes to shovel snow. Shovel yeah, exactly. Snow, right? I believe you. I believe you, Miss Emma. I don't know. Professor <laughs> Kyle Fugazi right now. <laughs> Fugazi. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, too funny. So yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll do five one because once again, I, I, I you know, I don't want to make nobody mad, step on nobody's toes. So at least we'll do one section. We can stop say we'll it. one section today. <laughs> oh my goodness! Stop, please. We're um, all joking around here. I promise. Well, we, I got, I got to laugh at it. Y'all got to laugh at it. So um, we'll do at least this one section, and then considering. Uh, I feel like I had explained everything, right? So considering everybody's position, not every, you know, everybody's position, some people aren't ready to actually move into chapter five. Um, we'll just do five one today. And if anybody want to stay back, just, you know, the lectures, just because the lecture's over don't mean class is necessarily over. But if everybody leave, I don't know if I'm supposed to just stay here and look at the screen. So, you know, every, everybody, if you want to stay back, ask questions or whatever, um, feel free to stay back. Uh, yeah, that's always the move to make. Uh, you know, when I say anybody have any questions, that's always the move to make. If you have questions, you want to see something re-explained or something done over, that time is yours to ask. Um, and I try to leave room at the end of the lectures anyway and try not to talk all the way, no matter what class I have, um, so that people can ask questions if they want them and they don't have to wait until, you know, an office hour or whatever. But uh, we'll go ahead and get into 5-1. I will say the posting of the lectures help. Okay, cool, cool. I'm glad. And so it's so funny you said that because, you know, before now, I've always wanted to record my lectures so that I could do stuff like that. But who's going to come into my class and record me? <laughs> and so, and then, but COVID made us, 
you know, put us in a position. So like this whole season will help people for years to come, you know, because of lectures recorded and stuff. So I think, you know, I try to, I try to find a silver lining. And stuff. Your computer. Say again? You could just record yourself with your computer and well, then see, that way. I didn't have that technology because see the way my bank account is set up, <laughs> but, but, but see what happened what what happened is that uh north state gave me a computer to use because of the whole covid situation and um ttc even gave me one as well but i couldn't do i couldn't write on the way i can write on this one so that you know because of the whole situation it puts me it put me in position to be able to do something like that now so yeah so yeah most definitely you're right it can happen now but uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't have have the funds to be able to. I got kids, man. They they they, they take that money. <laughs> sure do. Trust me, I know. Uh, My I grandkids was... take mine. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I'm not meaning any disrespect by any means, but I almost thought you forgot to post the lecture because you like posted it at the end of the week, this past week. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I got caught up. You know, I got 800 classes. You know what I mean? So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nah, football season. Tell the truth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Let's go ahead and get into this section, y'all. I'll be messing around with y'all all night. All right. So what is randomness? What is randomness? Uh, people are not good at identified, identifying truly random samples or random experiments. So we need to rely on an outside mechanism or outside mechanisms such as coin flips or random number table. So basically what it's saying is that if I ask you to do something at random, like choose five people at random, uh, you may be able to do five, but then if I ask you to do 50 at random, at some point your biases or something like that will kick in or just being tired and you probably just be like, <laughs> okay, I'm picking everybody with blue. So something's going to happen where you might mess up the randomness of it. So um, that's what we're talking about, random. So random means that no predictable pattern occurs. As you know, also we're, we're creatures of habit and we would develop a pattern. Uh, so no predictable pattern occurs and no digit is more likely to appear than any other. So just like, you know, if I were to write down some random numbers, I know for a fact, I would start writing down seven because I like seven or eight. I like seven and eight. So, you know, you, you, you will start to predict, you know, develop a pattern the more and more you do something just because you're human. Everybody done with that black? Uh, I know I was talking. So probability is used to measure how often random events occur. So just an example of that, there is a 50% chance that the coin will land on tails. You flip that coin, 50% chance that it'll land on tails. Everybody's still copying the red. Let's scroll up. Theoretical probabilities are long run relative frequencies. And it also another way of describing it is the relative frequency at which an event happens after infinitely many repetitions. So we're going to talk about what exactly what that means, of course. Everybody at the green. Okay. So we can say a coin has a 50% chance of coming up tails. We mean that if it were possible to flip the coin infinitely many times, then exactly 50%. I forgot that thing was that long. 50% <laughs> of the flips would be tails. 
Hold on, can you go up just a little bit? I was on the black card. Yeah, I thought I thought I was gonna get somebody on that one. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if you were to flip a coin 10 times, it does not have to go 50-50. You know, you could get tails seven times, heads three times. So that means if you were going off that reading, tails would show up 70% of the time. You know, but what it's saying is that if you were to flip it infinitely many times, then it would be 50-50. 50-50. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's based on an infinite amount of flips, though. Can you go can you go down a little bit to see the rest of the green if possible? Yes. Are we done with that black? Everybody done with the black? All right, how are we looking at that blue with the blue? All right, so empirical probabilities are short one, short run, not short one, short run relative frequencies based on an experiment. Mm -hmm. All right, let me know if I go up too far. Oh, don't you remember I put this example down there? So this is what I was saying earlier. You toss a coin 10 times and get seven tails. Your empirical probability of getting tails is seven out of 10, which is 70%. So that doesn't necessarily match up with the theoretical probability. Uh, but if you were to run it infinite amount of times, flip the coin infinite amount of times, it would come down to 50%. He said, don't worry about writing this example or write this example. Well, that's based on what, yeah, that's part of your notes. I was saying that I, I had said that earlier, but I just said it. I forgot I had actually wrote it down here as a part of the notes. Got it. Mm -hmm. All right, we good. We're scrolling up from the pad past the first green. How are we looking with that black? 
Right. Empirical probability tells us how often an event occurred in an actual set of experiments. So in other words, you flipping the coin, actually flipping the coin. Um, that's the empirical probability. And theoretical, based on theory. I don't know how far I can go up. And it tells us how many times an event would occur if an experiment were repeated infinitely many times. Just restating both of those statements, just restating uh, or reiterating what we said in the previous statements, just saying it a little differently, trying to drive the point home. All right, and we're still copying empirical. All right, so simulations are experiments used to produce empirical probabilities. So yeah, if I'm not mistaken, five one doesn't have any calculation, just you know, setting us up for five two, five three, and five four. How are we doing with that blue? Are we done with it? So like I said before, simulations are experiments used to produce empirical probabilities. Investigators use them with the hope that their experiments simulate the situation they are examining. So just an example of that, one could use a computer program to simulate flipping a coin a hundred times, you know, instead of, of course, you doing it yourself.
I'm done with that purple. So the theoretical probability, once again, measure the proportion of times events would occur if an experiment is repeated infinitely amount of times. This means it is impossible to carry out this task. So we can use the empirical probability to estimate and to test the theoretical probability. Can you slide up just a little bit? Four. I'm sorry, slide down. How far you need? Right there, right there. Just this green part, the beginning of it. Okay. All right. The answer was 63. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Tell me why my seventh grader is like, Mom, like, you really don't understand this? I'm like, what are you doing in seventh grade? I wasn't doing this in seventh grade. <laughs> you need to get them to tutor you, man. Listen, listen, I'm sitting here taking notes and we doing multiplication, so she can't say nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I'm I'm, all three of them were just doing homework while I'm trying to do this. Then he wants to come in and play a serenade us with his clarinet. It's like, listen, guys, <laughs> like. <laughs> oh, kids, kids, they're too funny. I had to get mine to hush up. She was trying to steal Skittles over here. She was trying to snatch my bag of Skittles. Get away from me. But y'all, hopefully y'all didn't tell me, hear me tell her to get away, but. <laughs> I feel that like I had to kick my five-year-old out because he was coming and making funny faces and then ran away again. And I was like, he knows I'm in class. Like, just right. Well, see, mine will, my four-year-old, she will come at the stairs and the stairs are right there. And then she'll just do stuff on the stairs and look at me and stare at me. And it's so it's so distracting. And I'd be like, I'd be wanting to tell her, get away from me. But <laughs> and, uh, one day they're going to get me, it's like between classes, you know, daytime, whatever, they'll be yelling and fussing and stuff so I have to mute and then yell at them from down here one day somebody the mute is not going to work right <laughs> and I'm just going to have to cancel class you know what y'all I'm sorry just class I'm, we're done for today just Does that, that's actually happened to me when my kids were last year virtual mm -hmm. um I was yelling at my youngest and I didn't know that my oldest was not muted and so I got a message from the teacher and was like by the way Mason wasn't muted and I was like Oh, everyone just yell at my four-year-old. Like, I am so sorry, everybody. <laughs> it was the worst experience ever. Right, right, right. And uh, Listen, yeah. I get it. Like, they're just, they're just all over the place. Like, I had to, I don't know if it was last week or the week before that. I had a pop mine. So if you, if y'all see this spoon right here and it just happened to go whop over there, <laughs> somebody, my baby got popped. <laughs> she was doing oh, it. Girl, the spoon, girl, the spoon Listen, goes I'm going to pop. Purse. The spoon goes in the purse when we leave the house, so no worries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a student last week in the morning, it was morning class. All of a sudden, he he unmuted and said, if you don't sit down, I'm going to whip your mm, 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 and stuff like that. I was like, and I was like, oh, no, I got to mute because I can mute y'all. I was like, oh, no, like, yeah, we don't, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, then, then when he realized, because I couldn't find his mute, I couldn't find his screen. And he's like, oh, oh, sorry, Mr. Tucker, and all this stuff. But yeah, he was going in with somebody. That's yeah, literally yeah. what happened to me. And I did it, though, in front of first graders. So, <laughs> you know, to my surprise, I'd rather do it to class right, where we're right. grown up than well, first graders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I think you got to beat. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. So, well, that's it for 5 1. Okay. So I'm going to hold true to what I said, a um, little timid. Uh, but let me say again, I'm not mad at anybody. I just want to go ahead and throw that out there. So feel free to We're not mad me. at you either. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So I'm, feel I'm, free. I'm writing a letter anyway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> but I, I just want to say, if you know feel free to email me so i can make sure because like i said i don't know whose class it is 
I don't know who the person is. And like I said, I didn't want to be in that type of situation looking like I'm trying to find out who did this to me. No, I ain't worried about all that. Okay, if you need help or if there's something that I'm doing wrong, you feel like I'm doing wrong, let me know so we can, so I can properly make sure, properly address the concern that you have so that we don't continue to have the concern moving forward. Because like I said, whoever it is addressed, you know, my dean, but they didn't address me. So he has more of an idea of what the issue is than I do. Because all I get, got was an email, you know, saying the, the things that I mentioned. And so uh, if there's more to it than that, or I mean, I guess if you just want to sit all the way to nine to shoot the breeze when everybody else gone and let me know. Um, no. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm, I'm just like this. I'm just talking about for that individual or individuals. I'm, I believe this is how my, my thought process. I'm a teacher. I, I'm not, a, I don't hold people hostage. You know what I mean? So if you want to be taught about or you want to discuss math topics, then we can do that. But I'm not going to hold people into class just to hold them to nine o'clock. I don't, I don't, I don't see any benefit or any, you know, product, productivity in that type of thought process. And other instructors do it, that's fine. And I can sit here and create assignments for you to do and on Zoom and I do it and you do it. Or, but I don't think that is as productive as giving you the opportunity to work on the stuff and then bring those questions back. You know, that type of thing. And then if we have- That's a flag on a plane. Uh, you, you don't want to do no work? Like I can- I was just going to say, like, I just don't see like where the problem is of you treating us like adults. Like that's all you're doing yeah. is treating us yeah. like adults. And I just don't- and, and, and that's okay. what I'm saying. It might not even be this class. You know what I mean? So I, I, I just don't know. But I, I know this is a class wherein I can see how letting out early can be, you know, misconstrued as chopping off class or, or, or getting, you know, um, getting your class shortened or get, not getting your money's worth. Um, but like I mentioned in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the message, you know, this is only week five. We got 16 weeks all together. And we're on the fifth chapter. So really, if we go according to that, we got five chapters, I mean, a chapter per week. You know what I mean? So I'm trying not to, you know, I don't know. That's just me, man. I, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to therapy on, on you guys real quick. Um, so well, I want to tell you, thank you for um, posting because my last Tuesday was, it was crazy. My truck broke down after I got off work. I, I took my coworker home, stopped at Wawa Release. I could eat and feed my child at Wawa. But thank you anyway for posting it. Then they had a, a scare with the some kids in her class tested positive for COVID. So I was wow. out of work. I had to get my baby tested. She's wow. fine. Okay, and I'm fine because I'm vaccinated, but I still got a test anyway because my oldest isn't vaccinated. Yeah. So thank you. I didn't even read or look at, I read part of the email where you said that someone said something. I was like me. I'm the type of person that was petty. So, <laughs> <laughs> like I, said, I mean, I'm it's trying. like chain of commands. That's like me. Why would you just go to the principal or the president? There's a chain. Of, just go to the source. Yeah. I don't know. This yeah. is me. Girl, you want to like talk about? <laughs> you want to? You want to talk about tough week? I drove my car home on Friday. Started it on Monday to go to work, and somebody had cut my whole catalytic converter from underneath my car. Sawed the whole what? exhaust off. Oh, You're the that. second person yeah. I have said that lately. Yeah, I heard people. So, uh, and that. and yeah. trust me, where I live, it, I, like I live in, a, I live in a, a decent part in Chesapeake, over in um, Riverwalk near the Greenbrier kind of area. Mm -hmm. And you would think I'm like I went, I left to hush. <laughs> I went to class Saturday morning, and I had. Um, my tire was flat. I was like, oh, I'll just change it when I come back. I said, hush. And so um, I came back, changed my tire, didn't start the car Saturday, didn't start it Sunday, took the truck to church. Monday morning when I left at four o'clock in the morning, got ready to leave at four in the morning to go to work. I started my car and I thought I was at the Indy 500 and then I didn't know what was wrong. And then somebody next door took a picture underneath my car yesterday and I have three feet of pipe missing from underneath my van. Wow. So That's I'm crazy. like, I'm like, it's like where I'm from, I'm school hard knocks where I'm from, but we just stole the whole car. We didn't steal people's pipe. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm just right. like, I'm like, I'm like pandemic really has people like hard up. Now they're stealing catalytic converters. Oh yeah. yeah. That's what on the news because they can get good money for that. But yeah, that's just, 
it's, yeah, it's either it's either they take platinum or stuff that's in it they take the stuff in it or they're they're selling them because you can't buy those used. you got to buy them brand new yep mm. oh wow well sorry to hear that, hear that. yeah yeah me sure. too yeah uh, well, I didn't mean for the for it to turn into that, y'all. Like, <laughs> uh, it's it's all right. Just just know that we appreciate you understanding. Definitely. We we I have appreciate we appreciate you, you understanding. We have lives because like life happens. Life yeah. happens, and so to fit a class in and to get notes and be able to resonate on it, and then you know, you know, work it how we can work it. We appreciate that. Okay, sure. I say I appreciate getting out early because then I get out in time, just in time to tuck my kids into bed, give them their kisses, they go to sleep and I do my homework. So I appreciate getting out early because okay. I get that little bit of time to make sure I say goodnight to them. Cool, cool, cool. And as always, if anybody wants to stay back after I let anybody go, feel free to stay back. You know, that, that, that time is for anybody. So with that being said, like I said, I was looking at Math Lab and I saw that a lot of people need, you know, you need this little bit of a buffer to try to get closer to where we are with the lecture. So I want to get, afford that opportunity. Um, so we're just going to do 5-1. Next class, uh, we'll do 5-2. I know at least 5-2, 5-3. No, we'll see. We'll, we'll close it out with 5-4. But, um, you know, whatever happens, happens. It's not that big a deal to me anyway. It, you know, <laughs> not that big a deal to me. So um, other than that, man, you guys have a great one. Uh, be safe. Y'all saw that out. Um, tried to put some set office hours out there just in case anybody could make them. So if you can make those, if, if not, then shoot that email and we still figure out what time we can um, create between the both of our schedules and go from there. So thank you. Have a good night. Not a problem. Thank you. Y'all have you. a good night. Have a great day. Everybody weekend. stay I'll safe. See you Tuesday. Yep. Stay safe. You most too. definitely. Thanks. You know, I have right. a question. Yes. Yes. Um, okay. So on the tests we have like the test one review and then like the test one mm -hmm. the review is that like we're supposed to do that too to get points or do we just do the test now the review is not mandatory you 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 will not be penalized if you don't do it at all or if you do something do like a get a 20 on it you just go in there just messing around but if you want it to get points the, um, the 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 uh, score that I put up there was that if you score at least 85 or better, you can get five points added to your actual test. Okay. But but if you're comfortable with that topic and you don't want to put any energy into it, you don't have to do it. You won't be penalized at all. Now, Math Lab may reflect a penalty if you go in there and and you know get a 20 on it. But when I do final grades, you know it won't count against you. Okay, because yeah, I saw it and I was like, there's 21 questions, and then I know the test has a bunch, and so I was like, I didn't <laughs> Kiara. I can't remember. Can I suggest Kiara, can I suggest oh, something? Take care, have a good night, guys. If you can if you can do the test review, you're doing the test. If that makes sense. Yeah, I think I think you were talking to Larissa. I oh. Think. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Larissa, Larissa, if you can do the test review. You can do the, th that's pretty much the test. So basically do the test review because then that makes the test easier? Yes. Yes, or, I do. It's very helpful. It's yeah. very helpful. Yeah, or at least, or at least go in there and look at the problems, you know, so you'll know what, you know, how, how to, how to test be set up. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah, you can't go wrong by doing it because you're getting that practice in for the test. Yeah. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you, though. Not a problem. Not a problem. Have a Thank good you. Week. All right. Take care. Uh, it says test review for three, four is like 50 questions. Oh, yeah. I it think is. that's because that's because I doubled them. I can, I, I, well, I can't change it now because some people have made an attempt, but I think that's because <laughs> I doubled them. You for can practice. change it. I'm on number 20. You can change it. <laughs> oh, no, no. Math, math lab won't let me change it. Oh. But, I, but what I do is create a whole nother one. If somebody wanted to, I have to go take a look at it, but I know once somebody go yeah, in it, there. It's 50 questions, but only 26 questions on the test. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I almost definitely would have gave you a 50 question test. No, but so um, I think the reason why I did that is because I doubled some of them so that you can get practice. I think for the first, for the class that I did that for, they were asking for practice on that. Oh, okay. And I think that's why it's like that. I, I, I didn't even think about going back and changing the stuff. I can create another one that's shorter, um, but I just got to go in there and create a new one. And then I would have to take that one away. Or I can just leave it up, but that one, has to stay that way. Once somebody make an attempt, the way math lab is set up, 
once mm-hmm. somebody's making a tip on an assignment, I can't adjust any other problems anymore. But uh, it's just so. that 4.3 and 4.4 was a struggle for me. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> you have a good one too. You, you too. too. Thank you. All right, not a problem. All right. Mr. Lowe, you good before I close out? I guess so. All right. 